My grandmother gave me three days to pack, then she put me on a boat to my father's. I needed my own people, she said. I hadn't seen my father in years, and the last time I saw my sister, she cried on sight. How long is she staying? Mara lives here now. Is she staying here as long as me? Well, this is where we all live. You and me and your sister. We're a family now. find the bathroom. Oh, it's a long drop, I'm afraid. I'm falling! <laughs> Toothless and vegetarian reunited with his two beautiful daughters. Eh? I don't think the other it's damp. You get a chill in your vagina. Wild and strange like your old dad. did it. Harry, but he's no good at it. He says I have to learn for myself. Doesn't Harry do housework? Have you ever tasted whorehound toffee? No. It's medieval. What's it taste like? Bitter. Thank you. 
is a spirit in the house. In the bathroom. It has no eyes, but it likes to watch. Penny, when's Mummy coming? Mummy says Mummy is Polly. Her name is Ava. Cheer up, love. Won't be long. of old Doreen, the postmistress last night, came between her crumbling grey thighs, like being inside a Francis Bacon painting. Fantasy life strong in this rotten old tooth of a house. But Doreen's ancient. Ride with a man on a horse, I John. Wondering if we might crash tonight, Harry. Hit the road in the morning. Crash, eh? Well, I've got some dump mattresses in my room. I'll go and beef up the lentils. Don't get too excited. Harry's a vegetarian. 
A place to hitch my animal? Fire is what separates us from the beasts. You have to woo it, like a lover. You have to give it life in the bellows of your lungs. But be humble. The fire doesn't need you. It's you who needs the fire. Thought you died out there, man. Dying for a smack. <laughs> it's like they're a tribe. The Manoroans. What is Manoroa? It's a community up north. Very isolated. It's paradise. Well, what do people do there? Well, they work the land and... Too much manual labor, actually. Deadens the brain. What about Herringbone John? He looks clever to me. Don't know much to say to each other, John and I. He looks like someone carved him out of wood. Let it ink run down all the grooves. <laughs> looks like a bloody shipwreck, though, man. Looks like it's just waiting for death to come along and knock him on the head. Lonely, the artistic life, isn't it? What's artistic about my life? Well, a life lived close to the edge. It's never comfortable. You know, you shouldn't sit like that. You get a chill in your vagina. What's that? Stick. Measuring stick. But it has no measurements. Well, when you can't see the top of the stick, then it's flooding. Simple. Bloody stupid place to build a house. I mean, we're paying to live in a house, in a whole string of houses that flood. I saw your mother at the post office this morning. She's sending Anselm round on Saturday to take you and Penny for a visit. Maybe you could try and have a good time.
not Weasel. Mum. Ava. You've grown. Your breasts are like darts. Shall we take our clothes off too? If that suits you. Though perhaps your sister, the indignant ladybite, would prefer to remain in her. It costs $50. What's wrong with it? It's middle class. I made you and Penny a molasses gingerbread woman with a pin cushion vagina. I don't think I like the taste of molasses. Ah, but the taste of life is pungent. A molasses swoon. Even indignant ladybuds must cast aside their brummy fur muffs and darken their little pink tongues. When can we eat it? You should pull your hair off your forehead. What's the matter with my hair? Well, it's rather common. You have such a shining forehead. I don't like my forehead. It would make you look more intelligent to show your forehead. Such a marvelous heirloom. You look like yourself now. Do you think I'm pretty? Prettiness is the height of mediocrity. But you were, when you were my age, you said so. I was a femme fatale at 11. I had charisma. Charisma is everything. You don't love me, do you? I knew nothing good had come from you getting involved with that lonely bit. How can you not get involved with your mother? She managed to not get involved with you for most of your childhood. That cross I'm not married to the bitch anymore. She calls you Harriet. <laughs> oh, fuck it, don't cry. Look, no, I wasn't going to say anything, especially not in front of your sister, but um, I had a flash. If you, if you don't get your feelings for your mother sorted, you could kill her. What do you mean, kill her? You know, kill a murderer. If you don't deal with your anger. Murder. Don't worry, we've all been murderers in past lives. Stop being a drama queen. And empty that potty, will you? Your room's a stink pit. Jesus. No, I won't, dickhead! Don't take that tone with me, madam. I think she's diabetic. What? She's sensitive. We're a bloody sensitive family. She's missing her bloody insensitive mother. Finished my digestion. Fuck the bitch. Fuck Harriet. How do you know she's diabetic? I had a dream, okay? Is that it? Look, Mara, mind out for conventional wisdom. It's propaganda, most of it. I'm not diabetic. I'm not diabetic. And nor is Ava either. Right. That's it. I'm not staying around here to be intimidated by you skeptical bitches.
shit, can't you two princesses leave me in peace? That $500 worth of bloody animal, catch that bloody horse! That's your mum, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen her and a boyfriend around a bit before. She's a doll. Think so? Yeah. It must be all right having a mum like that. Yeah. Mm. See you then. See ya. Hello. Where's Anselm? He's conducting some rather dolorous business with the postal dory. Harry knows Doreen. They both have that stewed apple ear. Who is that whorish type? Appearances can be deceptive, you know. Not in her rough little case. Well, what about you? Pardon? I mean you. Doesn't matter. Who are you to talk? Who am I to talk? I am an artist. And my life and my body are my work. And if you dare to compare me to that cheap little gutter snipe, who's probably fucking some local chimney sweep. Hasn't anyone told you that you're far too young for fucking? You. You and that indecent Miss Toon are merely two rude little girls who need their bottom smacking and sending home. Home? Who are you to talk of home? What happens after she gets out of the hospital? She goes to cake shops. I go to bakeries all day long. There's a lack of sweetness in my life. <laughs> I haven't been to a bakery since Darwin. What was in Darwin? <sighs> Nothing much. Coconut cakes after a woman's name. Louise cakes, buildings, muggy water, nothing the colour of this. Sticky heat under my collar and tie. I was straight then. Have you got any photographs of you in a tie? What would you want them for? Just to see what you were like. Did you have asthma then? Always had asthma. Harry says asthma's about repressed anger. <laughs> <coughs> what else does your old man say? That men are poor buggers? That's how Harry sees mankind. <laughs> what about womankind? Womankind's a different story. Harry dreams of 
embracing them in all their infinite variety. So do they ever get together? The people in your song? Sort of, horribly irresistibly. I can't stand what you do. I'm in love with your eyes. Can't remember the rest. I felt like that about a woman once. Mean as a cut snake. Eyes you could drown in. What happened to her? Nothing. She's out there somewhere. Somewhere in the Polaris. With a bit of driftwood and her long, dark hair. She sounds like the Lady of the Lake. My mother's a femme fatale. It's my birthday on the 19th, would you come? waiting for herringbone, John. Mm-hmm. Hallucinogenic, I presume. Hallucinogenic is when you can see the skeleton beneath herringbone John's jacket. Hear the mice sleeping in his beard. What do mice sound like sleeping? Half deaf and blind. That's what we become. I aren't. Ever. I'm going to keep my ears clean. I may become a traffic cop. John. Oh, it'll show up. Can't expect that unraveled bull and knitting to be on time. What? Gosh, you look nice. Gosh, love you. Sure, that's a suitable outfit, though. Suitable for what? and slip van on the suitcase and have a turn with those eyes. <laughs> I've already left home once. My grandmother's. For answering back. 
The road led to Harry's flood house, eh? Bit of aggression beneath that nice refined veneer. Complex hand leader. <laughs> Mound of Mars, you see that? See that contour there? Oh, aggressive. Where's that guy? Gets interred by that nice over civilized headline, eh? What do you say we let some of the aggro off on the dance floor? That day you came up the street. <laughs> I will never forget. You were smiling. The disappearing smile beneath the bloom of your hair. Flaunting the safety pin. <laughs> holding your dress. You were wearing a jacket of velvet with the border of pleats. Everything you said fell between us like the light from the star that everybody knows is gone but shines on. I embraced you. You were cool as the moon. Ruth Astaire. You put on something. Those modern glovers or whatever they are. Herring bone, your magic buggy, you made it. Oh, look, there's someone over there who needs your assistance. Harry's a dinosaur. He means the modern lovers. They're in the house. Come on. Come on. Who's that grubby Jesus bobbing along on Mara's transparent apron strings? That's John of all the kites, Mama. Is that in your pocket, John? When you get out. Happy birthday. Thanks. Pot plant. Oh, <laughs> pot plant. Thanks. I can't Warm enough? Who's that woman? The woman with the veil? She Muslim. No, just her veil. Oh, yeah, Muslim. <laughs> Wish I could wear a veil. Why does she wear the veil? She was in a fire. Oh, it's terrible. But Eddie likes her, doesn't he? I mean, isn't she his girlfriend? No. She's just passing through. Ava. This is Herringbone John. BP men just want to get their rocks off. And Sam is talking about the configuration of Cox present tonight. Rather unsuitable, I would have thought. Low affair, astrally speaking, but that's your father's business. You can see it in my eyes. It takes six All weeks fair. to clean the fuck out of your aura. Inside, you can see it in my eyes. It makes me think about me that I've lost my pride. But I'm in love with this power that resides in your eyes. Long night. Yeah. You cold? 
Yeah. Is it okay? This? <laughs> yeah. This is okay. <sighs> you smell nice. No, really, you do. Like horse. And rain. No one else smells like that. more. Sorry. But I wanted you to. And I... Yeah, I I'll, I'll be going tomorrow. Couldn't I come?
You could have a bath if you like, before you go. Harry left the copper on last night for me and Penny. your baby once. Why didn't you love me? I never loved myself. I do at Manorola. Be a bit more partisans, you know? Relationships. Finny can get a bit of mothering from the group. I mean, you could have a relationship. You could. Jerry told me about this place that sells car cases cheap. I could build a little sleep out out of a car case. I'm not living in a car case. No stick. Fuck, it's funny.
It's like a ship in here, Mama. We could sail away to Dolores' store. Along the valley, in a green glass bottom, past Harry's haunted bathhouse, slithering in a ship, in a ship of fools. In a lady's ship of fools. Harry moved to Manaroa. I went flatting, finished school. I was supposed to be young, but I felt old. Ava visited once to instruct me further on the lower astral plane. She was worried that I might have discovered fucking. But when her blinking slowed, I could see she had eyes just like mine. Turn on the light and say 